ranked at position 9 and 24 gets ranked at position 10. But the important thing to keep in mind here is this, is that we have a tie, we have a tie, and we have a tie here. So we have a group that has three, three values in it. Okay, so what we do in IME is we just do the, the typical thing is that when there are ties, we add the ranks together and we divide by we divide by how many values there is. So in relation to this value here, uh, we have a seven, and everything that isn't isn't tied just gets its normal rank. So seven and an eight, add them together, that gives us seven point five here. Divide by two because there's two in the group gives us seven point five. Three and a four gives us seven. Divide by two gives us three point five. And 3.5 here okay so that's all of the 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 ranked all of the groups that have pairs in them uh, now you can actually see that these two scores of a four here have been given the same rank these two scores of 2.5 been given the same rank and similarly here what we need to do is we need to add these scores together here so we have oh everything else is just as is so we have two five we have 10 we have one we have six and we have a nine here okay? in relation to the y variable money spent variable you can see that we have two and three that gives us uh well two and three gives us five uh plus four gives us nine there's three in the group okay so nine divided by three gives us a three so this gets ranked at three three and three so you can see that these values four four and four although they were given different ranks they've now all got the same rank okay which is important and everything else remains the same so this is an eight this is a six this is a ten this is a five, this is a one, this is a nine, and this is a seven, okay? And then what we need to do is we need to calculate the difference, the difference between these two, or xt minus, or yt, and we need to square them. They will be our differences. So what we got here, we have 7.5 minus eight gives us 0 0.5, 0 0.5 squared, minus 0 0.5 squared gives us 0 0.25. We have two minus three gives us minus one, minus one squared gives us one. Five minus three gives us two, two squared gives us four. 7.5 minus six gives us 1.5, okay? Uh, so we have 1.5 squared is 2.25, okay? Uh, 10 minus 10 is 0, 0 squared is 0, 1 minus 3 is minus 2, minus 2 squared gives us gives us 4, 3.5 minus 5 gives us 1.5, 1.5 squared gives us 2.25, uh, 3.5 minus 1 gives us uh, 2.5, <coughs> sorry 3.5 minus 1 gives us uh, 2.5 and 2.5 squared 2.5 to be squared gives us a value of 6.25 6.25 uh, 6 minus 9 gives us tr minus 3 minus 3 squared gives us 9 9 minus 7 gives us 2 2 squared gives us 4 and when we sum up all of these ranks here we have 0 0.25 plus 1 plus 4 plus 2.25 plus 0 plus 4 plus 2.25 6.25 plus 9 plus 4 gives us a total of 43 here and that is the sum of the the d squared values okay so the sum of the d squared values is 43 uh, oh just maybe a citation or a reference yeah for this particular formula this particular formula here when we're dealing with when we're dealing with ranks okay when we're dealing with ties uh, can be found in a uh, Carter and Foreman's non-parametric statistics uh, book okay that's where I got that from uh, so now let's do the calculation so now we know d squared we know what n is and we can deal with these with these ranks so let's deal with the ranks first of all right so dealing with the ranks, so let's say in relation to uh, the ranks t, t of x, it's equal to, well, how many groups are there? Well, there's two sets of groups where we have similar ranks, okay? So in this case, we have g is equal to 2. And for each group, we have to calculate, uh, well, there's a number of pairs in the group cubed. So for the first group, there's, for the first group, there's two pairs, so it's going to be 2 cubed minus 2, okay, uh, that's 2 cubed minus 2, and for the next group, there's two pairs in it as well, or there's two values in it, so it's going to be, it's summation of these things, so it's plus, once again, 2 cubed minus 2, okay, uh, that gives us a value of, well, what's that give us, that gives us, uh, 2 twos is 4, 8, minus 2 gives us 6, plus 6, which gives us t of x is equal to 12, okay, when it comes to t of y, Okay, t of y. Well, in this case here, there's only one group. Okay, so there's only one group. So there's only going to be one of these differences. Uh, but the important thing is that there's three values in this group. So it's going to be three cubed minus three. 
okay, is going to be the value. There's only one group, so there's not two groups to do this calculation for. So now we have t of y is equal to 3 trees is 9, 3 9s is 27. Okay, 27 minus 3 gives us a value of gives us a value of 24. So now we know what uh, now we know uh, what uh, what t of x is and also what uh, t of y is. We can now proceed to calculate uh, r of s. And don't forget, r of s, r of s is equal to n cubed, 10 observations. So it's 10 cubed minus 10 minus 6 times the sum of the d squares, which we just calculated to be to be to be 33 down here to be 23. So minus 43. Okay. Minus t of x is 12. So it's 12 plus t of y, which is 24, divided by 2. Okay, divided by 2, which needs to be divided by n cubed, which is 10 cubed minus 10. Okay, minus uh, the sum of the, the these particular rankings, which is 12 plus 12.